8420 MSP Harry here. It is the month of April. Just the other day we had a little meetup and it was 420 2020. So that I I I forget what numbers are uh what numbers do that kind of nonsense, what it's called, but it was kind of fun. We talked about the uh the industry in a Seattle-based meetup. So back with Dennis James, speaking of Seattle, Dennis James of Medicanicare. Uh hello, sir. Welcome to April. 2020. Well, hello, <laughs> Harry. I, I'd be talking to you in person, but there's some kind of challenge. I don't know what that is, but they won't let me out of my house. Yeah, exactly. Well, hey, what I want to talk about in, in the, uh, the, the spirit of what we're all confronting uh, economically and, and also, you know, just public health, but Dennis, over the uh, the prior weekend, I went to mini storage. I'm starting to kind of clean up the SMB Nation mini storage and get stuff ready for shredding. And sir, I found a piece from 2009. So January of 2009 uh, about counter cyclical sectors of the economy. So here they're talking about booze, gambling, sex, uh, and so on. And, and I, I would offer pawn shops in that same era or to some extent counter cyclical and then now they did not talk about uh, cannabis because that's 2009 state of washington didn't go till 2012 so then just the other day on 4 20 2020 usa today kind of revisited the uh the topic uh from a different point of view um this is the web printout but basically the essential business tag okay that not only does uh, cannabis fit in that counter cyclical category, in my humble opinion, economically, but the essential tag has really legitimized it. That's probably a whole nother discussion for another day about the uh, speed we think will be federal legal, but more important to the, uh, to the source of this conversation, you're saying that you're seeing strength on the medical supply side and, and your business model of, talking medical to senior citizens what's going on well um having all of my audience locked down uh including my mother-in-law who's uh, over at a uh, home near me and they don't call them homes anymore they're like senior apartments is yeah. what they're calling them yeah. marketing right um and uh, i can't uh, go see her uh, although we've been sneaking i have her go out on her her patio, uh, she's on the second floor and we actually talk, which is kind of cool. Um, and I think that uh, all of a sudden, out of nowhere, I mean, out of doing, I think I did two of these a month last year. You did. Finished up in January. And now basically it just got all shut down. So I'm having to come up with different ways to communicate to them and other people the stores are easy because they're still open. But well, that's, uh, that, that, that was the point with that essential tag. Go on. Oh, so um, I'm focusing a lot on the stores and giving them information and helping them to bring people onto it because they don't really understand the deal about a lot of them are into getting high. And most medical people, all we want to do is sleep, right? <laughs> Yeah. So our interests and their interests are not always easy, even if it's in a medical store. So from my point of view, I'm just shifting everything around. I'm going to be doing more videos and things like that so people can watch online, which I think will probably end up being more valuable in the long run anyway, because you don't have to go anywhere. You just click a link and go look. Yeah. Yeah. Now, let's say. Uh... I believe you said your mother-in-law, and, let, and, and uh, or let, let, let me just use a generic person. So you have a senior citizen at an assisted living center, and they want to uh, partake in medical cannabis so they sleep better. Um, how are, are there delivery services in the Seattle area? And I honestly don't know. <laughs> there are. Uh, they've gone uh, some some of the biggest ones that are out there what they're doing is you can order online just like you can with a regular store and they will walk it out to you so uh, while they can't go to the different senior centers just like i can't uh, they're actually continuing to do business 
And also, uh, they have senior hours, some of them, and other yeah. kinds of things like that. So they're very accommodating that way. Um, yeah. It's just like liquor in a way, or Safeway or any of the other stores, they will deliver now for free frequently. Yeah, yeah. And I know California has had that business model for, for some time. I uh, I, I just, I, I literally had not, I, I didn't know if Seattle would <laughs> was doing the same um well let's end on this because uh you know we're starting to have some conversations with our analyst here at 420 msp about you know what was it shakespeare those the best of times and the worst of times it was one of those uh one of those writers way back when mm -hmm. so on, on on the one hand the worst of times we were already overcapitalized and two th late 2019 was a bloodbath in the cannabis industry right too many dollars chasing too few opportunities everybody staffed up just had an email bounce yesterday from someone i spoke with at mj bizcon in the booth and the email i i, I ping people once a month you know my standard behavior and it bounced and so you're going to see a little bit of that it was overcapitalized and too frothy that's maybe the bad news the good news is um, I'll end as I begin that I really am on the record saying this is a counter cyclical part of the economy um, or uh, what we might better maybe a better word Dennis is staple it's a staple that consumption may not change so much in the boom times as a recession it's more like uh, eggs and bacon it's like food mm -hmm. you, you still need the same amount of calories every day <laughs> yep well you know uh... Every time I go into Safeway, I notice that uh, people are buying more liquor. I mean, I'm seeing uh, carts filled with, you know, half gallons of this, that, and the other. So I guess our um, imbibing has not stopped. Uh, and, you know, since you can't go anywhere and you have great TV and you can make popcorn, I guess that's what people are doing. Yeah. Well, hey, keep it safe, and uh, I, I sure miss you. You know, I uh, I'm, I'm I'm back in Seattle. The irony, I'm back in Seattle, but I can't see you. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so well, we could actually go into a park. No, we can't do that because no parks are open. Uh, let's see, we could just meet on the street somewhere. Well, wait a minute, all the streets are gone. We have to tell people where we're going now. Uh, so maybe we better take. Uh, five and catch next time, right? There we go. All right, my friend. We'll keep it keep it clean, keep it safe. Thanks, Dennis, for being one of our analysts. Good luck at Meta Canicare, folks. The URL is down below in the blog. Thank you, sir. Cool. Thank you.